Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this 2-in-1 guide for both Jingyuan and Sunday, I'll cover their best relics, light cones, team composition, rotations, pros and cons, and whether they're worth pulling. You can sit back and relax, and if you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Do you have a character or light cone in the game that you really want, but you don't have enough Stellar Jades? Fortunately, Lootbar.gg allows you to buy Stellar Jades at a discounted rate for all regions. Lootbar is one of the fastest and most reliable recharging platform with attractive discount rates. For an example, I will buy the 1980 Stellar Jade package for $26.40, which otherwise would have cost me $29.99, saving me a total of 20%, and also new users get an additional 5% off. To purchase, Simply enter your UID and region and to receive your package in less than 30 minutes. All recharges are done through the official channel with MiHoYo, which allows you to enjoy all top-up offers. Now you will be ready to get your favorite characters. Check the link in the description and pinned comment to get the amazing discounts. I won't delve into their abilities since I assume everyone knows how they work. For an overview, Sunday has the imaginary element and follows the path of harmony. He's basically a SP neutral Bronya with equal or slightly higher DPS. But for DPS units that have summons, he is in his own league. Overall for his Eidolons, E1 is better than his S1 if your DPS unit has summons. But if you have Bronya's Light Cone, I wouldn't get his signature LC even if you're using standard DPS units. For players who don't have Bronya's LC, going for his signature LC is fine, but it may not have any cycle clear difference compared to past and future S5. Building Sunday. Body. Crit damage. Boots. Speed only. For total stats, aim for either 134 or 160 speed, and as much crit damage as possible with 200% crit damage at minimum, and some defensive stat if you like, though it's honestly not needed if you have limited 5-star sustain units. Should players run 134 or 160 speed, this is based on preference, but 134 speed is overall better compared to 160 speed. But if players are going hyper speed, you must have at least his signature LC or Bronya's Lycone due to skill point issues unless your DPS unit isn't that skill point heavy like Jinglu. If you're running Robin, going for 134 speed is generally going to be better. One downside to hitting 160 speed on Sunday is that you need 33.24 speed substat with speed boots and 6% bonus, which is insanely hard to hit where it would be an 82% crit damage loss on Sunday with his 30% crit damage conversion, it would be 24.8% crit damage loss on your DPS which is not a lot where the DPS loss is around 7.5%. So it's still not that bad to run hyper speed if players don't want to tune relics on their DPS units. Relic set. The best in slot is Ordeal which provides 36% crit damage, which gives your DPS a rough 10% damage boost which is pretty insane. You can also run a 4-piece messenger or eagle set, depending on your playstyle. But for most players, Ordeal is the best in slot. Planar ornament. Rope. Energy regan. Orb. Any main stat with the most amount of crit damage or speed. Planar set. Players should run the 5% ER planar set to get 3 turn ultimate, even if it requires you to get hit twice. But if you have Bronya's S2 light cone or running Sunday's signature LC, you don't need the 5% planar set bonus, where you may run Broken Keel, Ageless, or even Rainbow sets if they have triple S tier crit damage. Overall, for those without his signature light cone or Bronya's S2 LC, the best in slot is Sunken Seas. Moving on to his light cones. Last place. Honestly, I don't see any use for these two light cones, as Sunday is to be put into a solo hyper carry DPS setup, though things might change in the future. Third place. Past and future is the best F2P option plus the damage boost where the gap isn't that huge from his signature LC plus it's free. Second place. Bronya's signature light cone which comes really close to Sunday's signature light cone, mainly due to the free skill points. If you have this LC at S1, I wouldn't bother to pull for Sunday's signature LC at all. At S1, you do need 5% bonus ER to guarantee a 100% ultimate uptime, but if you have it at S2, you don't have to run the 5% ER planer set anymore. First place, Sunday's light cone gives a 45% damage dealt boost with a 100% permanent uptime, Pretty much 6 energy per turn and 1 skill point for every 2 skills or ultimate. 
Overall, the main benefit is the energy for three-turn ultimate and skill point, where you could run hyper speed or minus one speed without having skill point issues. Here are the light cone rankings. Honestly, nothing much to talk about. If you have Bronya's signature LC at S1, don't bother pulling for Sunday's signature LC. For his team composition and rotations, his best team would definitely be Jinyuan. You may either run him with attack boots or 135 speed. Overall, the DPS difference is huge where Sunday would pull Jinyuan up to low double S tier. But of course, I don't think players should pull for Jinyuan but future summon DPS units instead. After all, even with Sunday, Jing Yuan's DPS would still be slightly weaker than or at most on par with Acheron when facing three or more targets. But with single target enemies or without lightning weakness, Acheron would still have the upper hand by quite a margin. For an E2 Acheron, Sunday is better by 14.8%, but it may not affect your cycle clears compared to Sparkle as the DPS gap isn't more than 20%. Bronya is weaker than Sparkle for Acheron, so if players don't have Sparkle, pulling for Sunday is a good decision. For Jinglu, there's no point in pulling for Sunday if you have Bronya as the DPS increase is only a mere 7%, which is also the rough average for most DPS units. Plus, if you have an E1 Bronya, it doesn't make any sense to pull for Sunday. For Topaz in a single hyper carry play style, I don't see a point at all. Even though Sunday is better by 23%, if you're running Faixiao, the total team DPS output will be way higher instead. Plus, Topaz may take 5 or more cycles if enemies aren't fire weak or if you're facing more than 3 or more enemies, which effectively makes this team comp useless. Players can also run Imbibitor Looney with Sparkle or Yunli with Robin, but you will come across skill point issues without Bronya or his signature LC. Overall, I didn't do the calculations but it's definitely better than Tingyun for sure by at least a cycle or two. For those of you running Boot Hill, Sunday does offer some better DPS output due to him offering crit rate where Boot Hill has slightly better crit numbers. But it still isn't worth it unless you only have an E0 Bronya which isn't usable due to skill point issues, as most likely there won't be any cycle clear difference. If you have Bronya at E2S1 with hyper speed Boot Hill, running Sunday may actually be worse as Bronya's 30% speed buff will make Boot Hill go 3 turns every single cycle. Overall, if you have an E1S1 Bronya, it's recommended to skip Sunday. For those of you who are curious about Bronya versus Sunday, at E0 Bronya's only upside is that she gives 55% attack instead of 60% more crit damage, and she's skill point negative, but can be solved with Eidolons or her S1. Sunday's multipliers aren't that much better without summon DPS units where his main bonus points would be his energy regen and being skill point neutral out of the box. Pros and Cons Pros S tier may change in future New summon type support Raw support buff multipliers are better than both Bronya and Sparkle Skill point neutral Gives a ton of energy, making him more future proof Easy to build Cons E1 DPS boost is high but only for summons Bronya is free and most players do have her at higher idolons his usefulness depends on future DPS units. Current units don't need him at all other than Jinyuan. Needs Bronya's or Signature LC to be SP positive or three turn ultimates. Should you pull? If you're a Jinyuan main? Yes. If you don't have Sparkle but have an E2 Acheron? Yes. If you want to bet on future summon DPS units? Yes. If you don't like him or need him? No. Overall. I would rate him a 10 out of 10 unit for Jinyuan and future summon DPS unit archetypes. But for any other DPS units, he's just not needed at all unless you didn't pull Sparkle for Imbibitor Lunny, but you do need his signature LC or Bronya's 5-star LC for Lunny due to skill point issues. Overall, Sunday is a niche support for most but insanely good for Jinyuan and future units depending on what Hoyo is planning to cook up. Now for Jinyuan's speed run guide. Players should aim for these total stats. If players aren't able to get good relics on Jinyuan, they can totally run with attack boots instead, but Sunday does give 20% free crit rate where it shouldn't be that hard to build 135 speed Jinyuan anymore, but it still comes down to your preference. Relic set farm for Grand Duke only as there's an 8% DPS gap. For main stat, ATK% rope and lightning damage orb over attack percent. 
Here are his DPS light cone DPS calculations. Overall, Milky Way is his second best in slot, followed by Genius Repose into both Eternal Calculus and Breakfast. Cosmos is more for pure fiction as for MOC bosses can have different types of weaknesses. To sum it up, you seriously don't need his signature LC at all. Overall, Jinyuan is a low double S tier unit with Sunday, but if he's facing two or fewer targets, or if the enemies aren't weak to lightning, his DPS falls off quite heavily compared to meta units that have barely or no weakness at all. Like Acheron, Firefly, Xiao, and Rappa with Fugue for all contents. Let me know your thoughts down below on whether you're pulling for either Sunday or Jinyuan. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it really helps out a ton. And that's it for this guide.